Howdy! Here we are, Robin, your Sudoku guy, with lesson number nine. This lesson, we're going in a new direction. Instead of working out how to solve one and two cells in a row, column, or block, we're going to start on solving three empty cells. And today we're going to look at three empty cells in a block. I've got a really simple one, uh, puzzle here, uh, just to show you and demonstrate what I mean. If you look at this puzzle, this, this block here, there are three empty cells. If you look at, um, let me see, this puzzle here, there are three empty cells. Same here, same here, same here. So I've basically done it so you can see lots of examples. Now, when you first see a puzzle, some people will like to look at it and look for these sorts of things before they go through the regu regular procedure that I've taught you. That's up to you. So let's look just first of all and demonstrate how simple it is to solve three empty cells in a block. Okay, take this one. We look at these three empty cells and we count through to nine to find out which numbers are missing. First of all, we'll go with one. Well, two is missing. Two can't go there because of that two. Uh, two can't go here because of this two. Therefore, this becomes the two. Now, what you're left with is, believe it or not, a matching pair. One, two, we're missing a three. And a four, five, and a six. We're missing a three, six. Okay, there's no six, there's no three down here, so you're, you're set. Now, sometimes you can go right through and complete it. We'll see. Let's try this one. We're one. Well, we know we can't put a two in there. If we can't put a two in there, it has to go there. So we're left with a, a matching pair, and that matching pair would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's look down. There's an 8 here, which means that that has to become a 7, and this has to become an 8. And just because we did that, we can work out what that one is. And it is a 1, 2, 3... Uh, oh no, we've, we, that has to be a matching pair for this one, doesn't it? There's only two cells left. 3, 6 is in one, it'll be 3, 6 in that one too. Okay, let's take this, this block now. There's three missing numbers. One, two, three, four. We're missing a five. Five can't be there because of that five. So a five will have to be down in here. But you can't be over here because of that five. That five, that five. That's, we did the, we did the, you know, the intersection across the vertical here. Therefore, this has to be the five. Five, 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 that works. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight are missing. Seven and eight, seven and eight. Let's see what does with that happens. Well, there's an eight here, so that has to be a seven. And uh, we'll put that there. This one has got a seven, so that has to be an eight. It would have been an eight in any case, based on the matching pair. That's easy, isn't it? Here's another puzzle with only three, th block with only three. Um, we're missing a one, uh, we're missing a two, two, we're missing a two, a two could go there and a two could go there, but there's a two here so we can't put it down there. We're missing uh, a three, three can go there, no it can't, three has to go down here, uh, or here, well that, believe it or not, that's the, uh, that's the last one in that row, so that's definitely where a three will go, so you're left with a matching pair with a two and uh, something else. Let's see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's a seven. It's two, seven, two, seven, and guess what? There's a seven up there, so that becomes a two, and this becomes a seven. Look how fast it goes. Admittedly, this is a very simple puzzle, but I want to show you the technique. Now we go to uh, this one. There's only three there. We go one, two, three, four is missing. Guess what? There's a four over here, so a four can't go there or there, so a four goes there, which leaves us with a matching pair for here, and the matching pair is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. 
six and eight. Now let's look down. Six, no, it's not a six and eight. It's a six and something else. Six and seven. Six and seven. Now, is there a seven down in here or here? Yes, there is. There's a seven there. So that means that this becomes a six and this becomes a seven. And we've solved that whole block. Oh, gee, I'm losing the intensity of my pen. I have to get a new one. Okay. Now, is there another one with three blocks? Yes, here's another one with three empty cells, I mean. Uh, one, two, three is missing. We can't have it there. And we can't have it down there. Three can't be there and it can't be there, so it's very simple. It goes there. And you can check because it's bottom, top, middle. So we're left with a matching pair. One, two, three, four, and... Uh, four and... Uh, six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, four and a six. What does that do? Well, have a look up here. See, we've got a six. So that changes that to a four. And this one to a six. Okay. Now, this, this one here has got three cells left. And by doing this, we can probably solve this bottom line very quickly. I think there's a one missing. There's a one. There's not a one in here, so we can put one there. And that would, that would be the one. If we look up here, we've got one left, center, right. So that becomes a one for sure. Leaving now with a matching pair. The matching pair has to be a four and something. A four, well, four and a eight. Is that right? Four and an eight. Yes, there's an eight just up there. So this will have to be a four because it can't be there because of that four. So that'll have to be a four. And this will be an eight. Now we have very simply, very quickly, we've got a, a row here with only one missing. And it's a one, two, three, four, five. And we can check that out. Here's a five, middle, bottom, top. That's correct. And this one's only missing a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's missing a nine. Now, this column has only got one left. That column only got one left. That column's only got one left. Boy, that should, this is going to be quickly quick, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is missing. And uh, this one is uh, one missing. Can't see a one down there at all. And in this block, one, two is a missing. I did a one, two, three, four of that, doing that way, or you can go that way, take your pick. Now we're down to this column that's only got one missing. One, two, three, four. We're missing a five. Okay, five, six. Six, one, two, one, nine, one, two, six, six. Well, six has to be somewhere in here. There's a six. Oh, gosh. This is so simple. Okay, we've got a six and a... What is missing in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. So there's a six right in here in this row. So that becomes a seven. And that becomes a six, and my pen is running out. I hope it lasts until the end, but now because we got a six there, this cancels this six out, this becomes a three. And this becomes a six. And that becomes a three. Look at the power of the... That becomes a three. And this is the only two left. We've got one in each one. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight in this one. And here it's running one, two, three. It's a four in this one. And we can check it by going bottom, middle, top. And that was a very simple one, but the point I wanted to make is simply this. When you see three empty cells in a block, some people would prefer to look at that first and then do the normal procedure of, of horizontal blocks and then vertical blocks with RAM, then the cross, the intersection of horizontal and level. It's up to you. So that's it for today. See ya.